Welcome to another Zoom interview. And today we have Sarah Handley Cousin joining us from New York. She got her PhD from the University of Buffalo and she is currently the Associate Director of the Center for Disability Studies mm -hmm. at the University of Buffalo, which is quite an interesting place to work, I assume. It but is. We're yeah. going to talk about Bodies in Blue, which got published last summer with UGA Press. So, first, I want to start with how do you got interested in writing a book about Civil War disability and injury? So, I, um, I, I was always very interested in the Civil War. That was always my sort of um, scholarly focus all through undergrad and, and my master's degree and all of that. Um, but I never, I, I was constantly kind of feeling around to find what like my niche was going to be. I was never someone who like had a specific, um, even like a specific battle or a specific you know, thing that I was specifically into. I just loved all of it, right? And, you know, if you're going to, if you're going to be a historian, you kind of have to narrow it down <laughs> at some point, Unfortunately, right? sometimes. Yeah, unfortunately so, right? That's why teaching is so fun, because you get to broaden back out a little bit. But um, I, uh, initially, my, my way of narrowing that focus was by looking at gender. I was always very interested in masculinity, so that became sort of the through thread in all the projects that I did, you know, as my, my undergraduate thesis, my master's thesis, all kind of on very different topics, but always sort of focused on masculinity. Um, but when I was uh, uh, starting my dissertation or starting to think about my dissertation early in my doctoral work, I just happened to have to fill a breath requirement. Oh. Um, and so it forced me to take a class um, that I otherwise, you know, normally wouldn't have thought of taking, you know. And it, I, I happened to take a class on the history of medicine. And the, the person that I took it with is a disability historian. And so it was very obviously focused on the history of medicine, but it also introduced me to disability history. And it had been a while since I had taken a class that was so eye-opening, right? Mm -hmm. I had never taken a history of medicine class before. I never even heard of disability history. I didn't know, and I think that's common for a lot mm -hmm. of people. Um, it's it's still um, fairly new, and a lot of schools, you know, don't offer undergraduate classes on the history of medicine. So it was very new to me, and I just bought in hook, line, and sinker. I was just absolutely fascinated, and I thought, okay, there's got to be something that I can do that can bring these two things together. Um, and so that's how I decided that whatever I was going to do in my dissertation, it was going to somehow bring together Civil War history with history of medicine and history of disability. And, you know, there was a, still a lot of steps from that point, but that's how I first arrived at kind of marrying those two disciplines together. That's just fascinating. Oh, there was this one class you take and it's just, yeah. oh, this is how I started. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, it's so many of us, I think, had, took that one class yeah. that just like changed everything about how we thought about history or what we thought we were going to do as historians, right? I completely agree. 